Digital A11Y Insights, your accessibility partner. Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Sensory Characteristics Level A. We are also going to talk about its requirement, purpose, importance, failure scenarios and how we can fix them. Look towards your right. Press the big round button on your remote. Speak after the beep. All of us, or most of us, would be able to follow these instructions in a real-time face-to-face conversation. But what if a user with no vision is going through a web page where instruction says, press the right pointing arrow to go to the next screen? Well, this is a virtual screen with visual cues. The user may not know the shape, location, or size of the object the instruction is pointing out on the screen, as no monitor or touch screen shows the object in tactile form. Instructions provided for understanding and operating content do not rely solely on sensory characteristics of components such as shape, size, visual location, orientation, or sound. But why is it important? Well, people with limited vision and without vision cannot understand visual cues. People who are hard of hearing or deaf cannot understand sound cues. These sensory characteristics does not restrict the use of such instructions or conveying the information using visual cues. It just tells the designers and developers to add additional cues. Now, let's look at some failure scenarios. Part 1. A loan application uses a tick mark alone to identify the completed steps. Part 2. An online game page says, click the big round button at the center of the screen to start the game. Part 3. A chart uses a graphical symbol to identify the growth area of the market. Part 4. A vocabulary game instructs, pronounce the word after the chime. Now, let's look at ways how we can fix them. 1. Should use appropriate instructions carrying the label of the buttons or UI controls. One should rely on another sensory characteristics like color to identify the UI control or a process. One should provide a visual clue like a flash, not more than once in a second when providing an audio clue. In charts, infographics and other data identifiers, use colors, appropriate textual or text alternative along with visual cues. One should provide text alternatives to graphical symbols. One should label the UI controls textually and programmatically in all places so that relying solely on sensory characteristics could be avoided. This is the end of the video. Thank you for joining. If you like the video, do like and subscribe.